So now our quest changes to how do we find slope? Remember, slope is a number, and slope measures the rate of change of a line. So now our goal is to find a formula that finds the number that measures the rate of the change of the line. Let's look again at green line and green car. Remember, this line described the movement of green car, which every hour went 20 kilometers. Every hour went 20 kilometers. Every hour went 20 kilometers. So, green car is going at 20 kilometers per hour. Let's look at that ratio for a minute, kilometers per hour. So, speed is measured in distance over time. But even more important, distance is the y unit and time is the x unit. So we're looking at y over x. Slope will be the change in y over the change in x. Let's see how that works with points. So here are two grid points on this line, A1 and A2. And we want to know how we got from A1 to A2. Well, green car traveled one hour from time one to time two and traveled 20 kilometers from 20 to 40. Let's look at that with a right triangle. So here is our right triangle of intersecting lines. We go this far to the right and this far up. So we're going in a positive x direction and a positive y direction. What do we have? We have that the change in x is one hour and the change in y is 20 kilometers. So that is how we got the speed. We said 20 kilometers per hour. This change over that change. Now when we talk about slope, we don't put units in it, but we have the idea that slope is the change in y, here it's 20, over the change in x, here it's 1. So in this case, our slope was 20. Does this work for any two points or just these two points? Hopefully for any two points. Let's check. Let's look at A0 way down here in the left corner, 0, 0, and A3. Notice that we keep the direction. This will be important when we start to work with positive and negative slopes. Okay, so what's our change in x here? Our change in x is 3 hours from 0 to 3, 3 hours. What's our change in y? It, we went from 0y to 60y, so our change in y is 60 kilometers. Do we still get 20? Our change in y is 60 divided by 3 equals 20. The beauty of lines is that once you draw the line, the slope is fixed. The ratio between the change in y divided by the change in x, no matter which two points you pick, is the same for that line.